Welcome back everybody to the Non-Serious Gaming Series playing more Bubble Bubble Part 2 for the NES. So let's continue. So this looks uh, too simple to be true. Is there... Oh shit. The cup up here again. Yeah, I mean, here, here's the mechanic thing. The joke is to basically grab the cup while the helicopter is actually around. As opposed to the previous level, you can actually go reach this guy and attack him non-stop if you want. Yeah, it will continue spawning enemies and everything, but it, it definitely will not take 9 minutes, like 2 episodes ago. Yeah, it takes a ton of hits, as opposed to basically everybody else, all these big enemies. I don't want to call them mini-bosses because I don't think they qualify as such, but... No. But again, I mean, the, the level now is properly designed so you can attack the guy repeatedly, and yeah. You have to know in advance what kind of level you're dealing with so you can get this trophy and... Alright, one hit away, actually. <laughs> well, that was actually more convenient than I thought. Alright, let's kill one at a time, I guess. Though, that this is how it's gonna work. Alright, now how can I get rid of the others? Unless you use the invisibility frames, I don't see how to do this. Absolutely no space. Seriously, I, I'm, I'm actually... I'm seriously asking, what, what do I... What do I do? I don't think I have enough time for invisibility frames to work. Seriously, I'm fucked! Forever! Can I get them from below? I really doubt it's gonna be a thing. Yeah, the ghost is going to show up any minute. Yeah, it's not taking me nine minutes, but it's taking me almost three. And the spawning point is not helping either. Oh my god. Alright, shooting the opposite side seemed to be effective. Mm. I guess some luck will probably do. Let's go here. No. That one guy, how did he do it last time? Alright, that, that looks doable anyway. But yeah, this is pretty shitty because... Since I spawned on the other side... And that's gonna happen every time. Oh my god. <laughs> at this point, it actually... Well, at this rate, it is going to take t 9 f fucking minutes to complete this shit. Yeah, time resets and everything when you die. Dude, they don't give you enough time! Kind of... Oh, did you see that? Did I actually swallow my own bubble? Look! Oh, I didn't know that was a thing, actually. Yeah, you can float, even. But it won't work against this guy. Oh, it did actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. There we go. Yeah, there was no need to lose a life. Okay. Well, to think that he actually discovered this ability in fucking level 70 something. Oh boy. Yeah. It actually happened. But that helps. Yeah, I remember that being an ability, but not in this game. Hmm, funny. Alright, 
Sh should I really allow this many lives being lost? I guess so. Now I'm gonna wait for the guy. Why don't can't I immediately pop it? That's better. Right, in any case, I haven't been losing so much time, anyway. So yeah, in case I get stuck, I can always hold the button. I seriously had no idea that was a thing. I didn't explain it anywhere. Maybe I should have continued watching the attraction mode in order to learn. So you shoot three bubbles when being... Uh, and charging. Yeah, I don't see how else you would be able to do it, or unless you, for example, jump on the bubble. Alright, that was a mistake on my part. But yeah, you basically are able to get upwards, control yourself in midair, which is something I actually wanted to accomplish while jumping on bubbles. I'll take this death, it's okay. No, but not that second death. Way too much. Oh, well, there's a shit ton of enemies still fucking around, huh? Oh well. I don't think this was an ability in the first game, though. I really don't think so. Drop it before. I want to stay here, ideally. I'm still in danger, as you can tell. Yeah, we'll have to like kill one by one. But it would take a while. Right, this is taking a while because uh, we have these uh, enemies in disguise, so it's, they're taking extra hits. All of them. One more to go. You're fucked. Yeah, of course, that death was really unnecessary. Actually, it wasn't necessary on my part, you know, to go get those things. Alright, that was a better performance. A much better one, yes. There was no need. I meant to jump, thank you. So I could get those things down there. I ended up dying anyway, so okay, let's wait until they're all gone and let's restrain, you know, from grabbing them. Uh, what level is this? 69! Oh, the drone guys! Finally they feature them! I was about to think that the game was being uh, censoring, you know, these guys. Which seems uh, not to be the case, but they're not throwing bottles. So, is Searcher Ship a thing? No. It's, looks like a big enemy, so probably it's going to take a few hits to kill. Yep, quite a few. Careful, careful! I wonder what happens if I shoot these uh, bigger guys with uh, charge versions. Alright, that actually did it. Gone. Yeah, I'll be using this technique more often, I suppose. Oh, is it one of the girls? Alright, I know this thing. Yeah, it's one of the girls I have to rescue. Is he going to ask for two players this time? Hmm. It's a legit doubt that I have. Now I was able to hit him for the first time. Whoa, that was good! That This cannot be the end of the game. Yeah, there is more. I rescue one of the two. 
Which means in 10 more levels I guess I'll be able to rescue the second one. Which should be the last... Where the last boss is waiting for me. I got an extra heart, yeah, I forgot about that. Can I trap anybody? At all? Alright. Kind of, so, kind of an easy level now. Asking for help! Oh no, platforming bullshit. Well, now I can float. I know I can do that thing. Whoa! Was that a lucky warp? Oh, this guy. So, repeating the final battle. Alright, it's the first time I actually got a warp and I moved to stage 79. Alright, I was right about to stop the part, but this could be the end of the game, guys. Yeah, it seems like a robot this time. Yeah, that was it. There's more. Alright, another boss battle. So there was a boss battle in level 79. So basically, the same three guys, I mean the same guy that I fought for rescuing the first princess. Now I'm small. Alright, it's temporary. I think this is the last boss. So that heart, is that an attack? No. Yeah, I'm shooting a lot, but most importantly, I have to break the bubbles. Oh, I killed one of the guys already. Yeah, I'm unable to shoot when I'm smaller. Nice! Oh my god! Not even my final form! Oh, I thought it won. Yep, cheese! Oh my god, I actually beat him! Wow, that was quick! Yeah, I actually beat the game! Earlier than I thought! And I guess now I'll be able to get back to normal, to my human form. And I rescue the... Uh... I don't know if it is the same girl. I guess so, it's only one. Happy end. Yeah, it was a little bit anticlimactic. It became a little bit easy at the end. The, the final areas actually were easier, and the final bosses were also very simple to fight against. So yeah, that was Bubble Bubble Part 2. You know, I'm thinking about uh, taking a little look at the Game Boy versions. I know Bubble Bubble 2, 1, sorry, for Game Boy is basically the same thing with a few, like, uh, story changes. You won't ask for two players in order to get the, the true ending and everything, but uh, gameplay-wise and even level-wise, I think it's exactly the same. Uh, part two, Bubble Bubble Part Two for Game Boy, though, is a completely different game. So I don't know. Maybe I'll take a look at those uh, versions next, or maybe I just sh I should just move on to the main with the main story, uh, doing the you know the, the the actual Bubble Bubble Two and Three. And the games that came out later. We will see. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you like the playthrough.